Carlos Alcaraz versus Hubert Hercatch is the first semi-final for the Men's Cincinnati Open for 2023. And both guys have had to fight to get to this stage. Hercatch entered the tournament unseated and will take on the qualifier Kokonakis in the first round. And after battling into a third set, Hercatch would sneak through 7-6, 3-6, 7-6. In the second round, he'd take on the 15th seed and defending champion Borna Choric. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win in three, 5-7, 6-3, 6-3. In the third round, he'd take on the fourth seed City Pass, who struggled last week in Canada. And this was by far Hercatch's best performance getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-4, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Hercatch would take on the lucky loser Poprin, who'd gotten a second chance thanks to Hashinov pulling out. And after an easy first set, Hercatch would fight back to win the second, 6-1, 7-6, to advance to the semifinals. Alcaraz came into the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier Thompson. After dropping the second set, would fight to win in three, 7-5, 4-6, 6-3. In the third round, he'd take on the number 14 seed Tommy Paul, the man who had beaten him last week in Canada. And after splitting the first two sets and a lot of rain delays, Alcaraz would eventually prevail 7-6-6-7-6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the qualifier Purcell, who had just taken out Rude and Vavrinka back-to-back. And after dropping the first set, Alcaraz again would have to fight back to win in three, 4-6-6-3-6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. These two guys have played twice before, with their previous meeting being last week in the third round of Canada. Alcaraz getting the three-set win there with a couple of tie breaks going his way, but her catch has been impressive in tie breaks this week. So if it does go that way, maybe Hercatch can finally sneak out a win. If Hercatch is going to win this one, he needs to serve big. His serve has been so good this entire year. He served more aces than anybody else for the entire season. In fact, 150 more aces than the next guy, best guy, which is Fritz. And he also has a massive first serve percentage as well. Doesn't lose points when that first serve goes in, but it comes down to the tie breaks. How does his mentality go when he does play the tie breaks if he does play the tie breaks against Alcaraz? If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to get off to a better start. He seems to get off to these slow starts since Wimbledon. It's been weird. Even at Wimbledon in this first final. In the final there, he did lose the first set 6-1, so he needs to get off to a better start here. And of course, last week, he did lose the first set against Hercatch. And the tie breaks, if Hercatch can somehow get his way into those, it could be difficult for Alcrest, so he's got to get that first set. This is such a fun matchup because in the last five sets they've played, four tie breaks, so we're going to get at least one tie break you'd expect. But I reckon Alcrest gets it again. I think Hercatch just isn't quite there when he gets the tie breaks and, of course, hasn't won a tie break against Alcrest. And that's going to play on his mind for some reason with a, with a big serve like that. He still can't get the tie breaks, but I reckon that Elk is going to sneak it out, maybe in three sets, but let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the final of Cincinnati.